Hey, this is Ian. Hey, this is Jeff. And what are we working on today, Jeff? Well, today we're going to change out the old fuel filter, put a new one on. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to disconnect the line here, the good old DGV Weber carburetor, and then loosen these lines. I got me a nice handy Publix yogurt cup to drain it, the gas in, and I'll probably pour it in my lawnmower. Okay, let me start that, and then I'll get back back with you. Okay, bye. Hey, we're back. Draining the gas. Look, 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 look. There it is, draining it out. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll put the new filter on. Be okay. back with you in a minute. Bye. Hey, Dad, what'd you find? Well, open up the filter. I could tell it had some trash in it. When I looked and opened it up and knocked some of the trash out, this is what I found inside. Look inside the cup there. You can see it's full of trash. Definitely the filter's doing its job, but it's a little bit disturbing to see that much trash in the filter. Usually I don't see that much. I hope my gas tank doesn't have rust. It doesn't appear to be rust. It appears to be black stuff, like rubber. Not sure what it, but definitely a lot of trash in there. This will not be going in the lawnmower. So, anyway, let me put the new filter on. We're going to cut some new lines and put the filter on. That's going to be the next step. Okay, Be bye. with you in a minute. Hey, Ian, what you doing? I'm actually cutting the line. All right, let's see you do it. Okay. Tough, huh? Try it one more time. You almost got it. Watch your fingers. done. Okay, what are we doing now, Dad? Okay, I've got everything on it. Let's go back on the car. I used, it uh, looks like a one quarter to go into the carburetor part, and these were five sixteenths. There's a little reducer here. I don't know if I got a good shot of that earlier, but there's a reducer that takes it from a larger size down to a smaller size for the carburetor. Okay, let's go over here and see if we can slip it on. It's got a little uh, hard pipe there, gas line. You notice I'm still using one of the original clamps here, this location. The rest of them have, I've went to the other types of clamps. I need a little bigger plier there, but it's, looks like it's going on. Okay. Still working it. All right, back away from me there a little bit, buddy. Sometimes I have to get the needle nose. And we're back. Okay, you can see Needle Nose does a good job of holding these original clamps. You just clamp them together and put them together and move that clamp around real easily. That's the original clamp. I think I got another two back here as well. But uh, the rest I've gone to the uh, kind of more modern ring style clamp. Okay, let's see if it'll fit on the thing here if I got it the right length. All right, back it up some there, buddy. It's going to be hard to get on, but it will get on there. I'm going to have to get the pliers kind of twisted over there. You know, let's see if that's going to be about right. Let's see, with that on there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. That's a little too long. All right, we'll come back with you with that line. I made it a little long. I'm gonna cut it down maybe half an inch. Okay. Be back with you in a minute. Bye. And we're back. All right, I'm getting on. That's a tight fit. I put a little oil from the dipstick on it to hold it and to get it to slide on a little better. Looks like I'm gonna have to loosen that up. I'll have to get the, get it over the little enlarged section on the carburetor tube. Put this section on right here. So okay, put that through there. Phillips head screwdriver. Got it. Okay, 
that looks good. All right, and take a look and see how it's got enough clearance from the uh, exhaust manifold. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I wish I had one that came in on this side. I need, probably need to get a new cover, a cover that would have an inlet on this side instead of the side of the cone, but I've never had a problem with it. I just make sure I have enough clearance away from the exhaust manifold so it won't get hot. Uh, there's a lot of air coming through here, as you know, from the radiator. So this is not gonna get excessively hot, although the carburetor itself does get warm in the summertime. And when you shut it off, a lot of the gas evaporates back through the filter, it's that hot. All right, let's check the connections, and I think, and then we'll uh, turn the fuel on and prime it and start it up. So, okay. All right. Bye. Okay, we're about to start the fuel. Anything? A little bit. Mm, hope the fuel filter, fuel pump's working. No fuel coming in it? Mm, a little bit. All right, start it up. Okay. There's a lot of fuel in there. Let's check it out, see if it's getting fuel now. It's working good. Let it run a little bit, get, make sure the fuel is getting in there and have no air line, no air in the line. Okay, that's it for the day. Okay, bye.